Hi family and welcome to this video. I'm finally doing this video. I know when I just got these products, I kind of took a picture on my Instagram and I said I will review this in a week and that was a month ago. But actually I wanted to wait because I wasn't really sure what to say about this. I needed much more time to review this and wear this and try this to tell you guys if I like it, if I don't like it, which one I like more, which one works better. So I'm talking about these uh, Magic Instant Ruth Concealer Sprays, Ruth Retouchers. The one is from L'Oreal and one is Schwarzkopf, and both are in brown. This is just brown and this is brown. And actually I don't have any of these on my hair, I just wash my hair and I'm going to show you how these work. If you're interested to see which one I like more and which one works better, then please keep on watching. So let's just start with the packaging. Uh, these are both, uh, both of these products has up to 24 applications, but this one has 60, 75 milliliters and this one has 120 milliliters which says that this one has more product this one has less product but you but you're going to get 25 applications from both of these up to 25 which is kind of strange because won't you have more of applications with this one that has more product i don't know this is the color i have brown hair and this is the hook. this is how the applicator looks and let me just spray this on this hand this is the how this one sprays kind of very hard this is the color it's, it sprays very very hard i don't really like this applicator because i feel it's too hard and it kind of gets too messy so i don't really like this applicator this one though though it looks a little bit better i mean it looks the same as the L'Oreal, but this one kind of sprays a little bit fi more fine. Do you see that? And this is the brown from Schwarzkopf. Let me just... Look strange. So, brown. Look kind of the same. Uh, so... I don't know if you can see, but this one is more even than this one. This one sprays a little bit harder. And uh, I use this not to kind of do retouch of my roots, as to hide my gray hair. Let me zoom you in so you can see better. I don't know if you can see, but I have a lot of gray, gray hair in, here in front. And I don't like that. It kind of makes me look very, very oil, oil, <laughs> old. And I want to hide that and I have a couple of them here the back, but I feel like I feel old. I'm 34 and I have so much gray hair here in the beginning and that is why I wanted to try something like this. So let me just show you how these are applying, how I usually apply this. I kind of take my hand, shake and spray. I don't know if you can see that it instantly kind of hide and then I, I'm going to switch to, the, to this L'Oreal so you can see that one working too. Then I kind of take and sp spray like this and take with my nails and kind of remove the hair a little bit. back to this one. I don't mix. I never mixed this before. I just use one or the other one because I want to try which one I like better but I want to show you right now in the video how they're spreading the product. And then I kind of look through if I missed something and I want to hide more. And then I go back. Oh. 
And when I, I leave this for maybe one or two minutes, and this is how my hand kind of looks like after applying that, but it does wash easy with water and soap. The only thing is that this one is a little, is a little bit harder to remove or wash. It does it, it does wash out from or does it wash from your hands easier. It removes easy, but it does take a little bit longer than this one. So I thought because this one is much easier to wash than off than this one, I thought that this one is going to hold better. Let me just show you how, what I do then. It feels like I have dry shampoo in my hair. It doesn't look greasy, it doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't look un, uh, how to say, uneven or doesn't look, I don't know if you can see, it doesn't look, just looks like I colored my hair. I really like how it looks in my hair. Uh, so I do really like these products. So which one I, do I like, like more? I don't like the spray from L'Oreal's. I don't like. I think it's too hard and I feel like it's not applying the product evenly. And it kind of leaks from side. So sometimes I did got something in on my face and I don't really like it. It takes a little bit longer to remove, but it doesn't really stays on my gray hair longer than this one. I thought first I thought it would, but it actually didn't. This one I do like more because it sprays more even and I kind of find this one easier to work with. Uh, but I don't know if I will, I, I mean, if I was looking for this and I only say this one, I will definitely buy, repurchase both of them. I mean, they are very good products. The color is the same, it, ma it matches my hair. They do the job good. First time when I tried these, uh, I kind of um, was I, I usually touch my hair a lot, especially in front, the, uh, this part of my hair, and I found that it stained my fingers. So when I did like this, it did stain my fingers. And then after one day, I saw that my gray hair was peeking through. It kind of the color kind of moved from my gray hair. And uh, I didn't really know what the problem is because this is supposed to last until you wash your hair. Oh, three or four days or two days, I don't know how often you wash your hair. I usually wash my hair two times a week, every Wednesday and Saturday, Sunday. And this was, this board of them supposed to stay on your hair, hair until you wash it. But if you touch your hair, where you apply to this product, it's going to, re you are going to remove your product with the hands. So I kind of, uh, I'm kind of trying not to touch my hair a lot, maybe do like, just like this and not take my fingers through my hair because it's going to remove the product. So if you're thinking of to try these products, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I really don't think, but don't touch your hair. Be careful with your pillows because it's going to stain <laughs> your pillow. So I usually have something over my pillows so it will be easy to wash. It does wash off, so that's no problem, but it's going to stain. So just have that in mind. And it's going to stain your fingers and you're going to have the product in, on your fingers if you touch your hair. So don't do that. I try do, to do, or try to do just like this, so I won't touch uh, as much as I used to where I have the product. So. I think this is a great product. I don't know which one I like more. I think I prefer this one because you do get a little bit more product and I do like the spray a little bit better or the, this thing up here, a little bit better than the L'Oreal's, but they work the same. So both of them are good. So please let me know down below if you tried something like this. Uh, I am very surprised. I like both of the products. I think I like this a little bit more. So. And the package is a little bit cuter than this one. That's just my opinion. Please let me know down below if you tried any, any of these products and what do you think about them. I'm going to go away and wash my hair because, hair, not hair, hands because they are not clean. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. Like this video for, every, for any reason and I hope I see you in my next one. I love you all. Bye.